<clears throat> okay, I've started out um, originally in Illustrator, and now I and I created my artwork. Now I'm in Photoshop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get through two parts of this assignment, creating this in grayscale, which should be fairly easy. And then the last part is going to be creating it as a monochromatic piece of uh, monochromatic color scheme. You are going to be doing the final piece, which would be either a, um, a split complementary, complementary, um, analogous, or something that, or another color scheme that you have found in our reading material, uh, which I ask you to look over in Presentation Zen. Okay, so really this is the first one that we have, and this is the black and white one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Save As, and this is 01, and I'm going to save it for black and white. And I can save it as a PSD, and save it. And now I'm going to print it, and I'm going to go to print, and I'm just going to make sure that it's 8 by 8. That's what I'm asking you to do. Now I'm also asking you to trim this down. And as you can see, it is on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'm going to click on print. And then it'll head off to the printer. And hopefully you can cut it down to size nice and neat. Okay, now on to the grayscale. To do the grayscale, all I'm going to do is double click on my foreground color. And what you'll see is you will have either your color scheme in here. Okay, now I use I use a different schematic uh, for my coloring, which is fine. Um, but either way, to choose your grayscale, what you're going to do is you want to come way over on the left-hand side, and this is where you're going to get a true gray. If you'd come in through here, you'd end up with with other colors if you're not using this particular color schematic. Um, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to create kind of a dark color at this point, maybe a middle gray. I'm going to say okay. Now what you'll notice is my foreground color has turned that middle gray. Now, I am coming here to my magic wand. You might find it underneath the quick selection tool. So I'm coming to my magic wand, and I am going to click on all the white areas. And if I hold down the shift key, I can keep clicking, and I can get multiple white areas if I'm holding down the shift key. And I want to do this because what I want is all of my white areas to be that middle gray. I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to go to fill. Foreground color, that's what we're going to be using, and I'm going to say OK. OK, now I have that foreground color chosen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, and this time I'm going to select all of my black areas. And again, I'm hoping that you're going to be experimenting with shades of gray. Um, I'm moving a little bit fast only so I can get this done in nine minutes. Okay, I've changed the color. It's a lighter gray this time. Again, I'm going to go to fill, foreground color, click. Now it is, oops, did I screw that up? It looks almost white. That just shows you that, color, you know, um, uh, value is relative. But that's definitely gray. Okay, now I do want to select two other areas, and this time I want to select that area, and I'm going to select th this area. I'm going to change this a little bit. I want to get this down to 10 because what's happening is this, when I click here, it was selecting this as well. This is your tolerance. And you can really squeeze that down where it'll only select a few colors at a time. The larger the tolerance, the more colors that it'll see, and it'll select. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, and I'm going to select a darker color. This is going to be kind of light when I'm done with it, but that's okay. And 
and I'm going to fill it. And the way I'm going to do that is go to Edit, Fill. Okay, there you go. And then Command D. Okay, not a really moving piece of artwork, but it's better than nothing. Let's try maybe, let's see if I can maybe make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to select this one and maybe this one over here, this one and maybe this up here. Let's see if I can make that more, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, now we're going to fill, foreground color. Okay, that's a little bit, Command D. Okay, that's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more um, spatial, uh, spatial in nature. Okay, now I'm going to save it. Save as. And we're going to call this grayscale. And again, once I'm done, I'm going to print it out. Okay, grayscale. Sorry, my phone's going nuts. And save it. Okay, now, the next thing that I want to do is work on the monochromatic. And the way I'm going to do that is that I'm going to be using Cruller. I only have two minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and there will be a part three.